So my name is Emma Rawlings, I'm Chief Executive of Somerset Chamber of Commerce. Um, we are um, an organisation that is a membership organisation, so hundreds and hundreds of businesses across Somerset uh, join us so that we can uh, connect, influence and help to grow their businesses. And that ranges from businesses who are uh, one, two members of staff, right up to organisations that have got several thousand members of staff and are uh, UK-wide organisations. Yeah, there is lots of opportunities out there for young people who are looking uh, to get onto the career ladder. And that's whether they're highly skilled roles, to office roles, to apprenticeship roles, to there is all sorts, a huge variety out there with lots of support and lots of incentives and um, where they will uh, support individuals in their further development so that they stay with that organisation um, and they grow their skills um, and their careers with them. So the very first thing you need to do is to do your homework. Go to their website, look at who they are, what they, what they do, look at their values, look at their objectives, look at who their customers are, look at where they're based, um, and look at the wider organisation as well. So uh, look at all their different departments, um, look at their latest news so that when you go to that interview they'll say what do you know about us and you'll be able to tell them what their latest news are and what they're working on and they're, um, you know, they're uh, sort of um, striving to achieve. Always work backwards. So, or, right. So, if your interview is at such and such a time, always think about right. Okay, what's where? What, what's the journey there? How long is it going to take me? What roads have I got to encounter? Because you always, always map in about a half an hour contingency plan. It doesn't matter if you're sat in the car park for half an hour beforehand, where you can do some more reading and just relax yourself. You don't want to be stressed when you get there and leave it sort of like you're screeching around the car park uh, with two minutes to spare. So have that time, be relaxed, think about your questions you're going to ask um, as well as the questions that you're going to be asked. Rehearse them with a friend or a member of family before you go because they'll always ask you those really awkward questions I call it of like, why should we give you the job? Why are you the best candidate, candidate for the role? So think about the sort of four or five best things about you that you can just come out with as well. First thing is, is a really nice big smile. Okay, be genuinely pleased to be at the interview, although obviously they're gonna be slightly nervous. Um, um, a welcome handshake. Um, always wait to be asked to be seated, so don't just come strolling in and take a seat. So always, you know, um, wait to be asked to be to be seated. Um, have your, you know, your questions in front of you. A pen. Look prepared. Look like you 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 go in there that you want the job. Look smart. So make sure that you've got your uh, clothes ready the night before. That they're pressed, they're ironed. Um, and although the, an employer might say, okay, you don't really need to. Um, you know, come in a suit or whatever, but come in a nice, um, you know, a ni nice clothing so that you do look like you want the job and you look like you look professional and you've made that effort. That's the sort of things I'll be looking for. I'm looking for commitment. I'm looking for, uh, I would be looking for a team player. Um, somebody who's uh, got new ideas as well. Uh, you know, I always welcome new ideas ideas to the uh, organisation. And somebody who is, is very keen and passionate about what we stand for and what we do. And I know that when they go home, that they are a passionate advocate and they will always talk positively about the organisation. So it's, again, it's about having somebody who has those values at heart and they share those values of what the organisation has. There is the STAR uh, acronym which means situation, the task, the action and the results that you took to to, to overcome a, a situ, you know, a, overcome a project or something that you would hand, you were handed to do. So use that as to give a really good, strong example to the interviewing panel. Okay, so the the situation is is that there are lots of tables that need cleaning down, loads, you know, all piled up with used crockery from the customers beforehand. So what he had to do is go and get all of the cleaning products from the cleaning cupboard. Um, 
obviously bring the right equipment so in terms of the cloths and the trays that you need to clean those tables down um, come and actually do that um, um, so that's the the, the task um, and then obviously the result is that you've got really nice clean tables ready for your next customers um, to come and enjoy uh, the service